Cambridge Movers Six by University of Cambridge ESOL Examinations in conjunction with Cambridge University Press. This recording is copyright. Hello. This is the Cambridge Movers Practice Listening Test. Test one. Part one. Look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. Where's Anna? She's in the water with one of the dolphins. What's she doing? She's riding on its back. Oh, I'd love to do that. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Which is Paul? He's wearing a green shirt. Oh yes. What's he doing? He's pointing to the dolphins and laughing. Two. Where's Sally? There, she's got a camera. Right, I can see her. She's taking some pictures. Yes, she loves dolphins. Three. I can't see Nick. Where is he? Look, he's sitting with his feet in the water. <laughs> What's he doing? He's got a fish in his hand. That dolphin wants it. He's jumping for it. Four. Look at Jill. What's she doing? Her friends shouting at her. But she wants to read. Oh yes, she's got a book about dolphins. Five. Where's Mary? She's there, in the water. Oh, what's she doing? She's swimming with a dolphin. Oh yes, it can swim better than she can. Now listen to part one again. One. Which is Paul? He's wearing a green shirt. Oh yes. What's he doing? He's pointing to the dolphins and laughing. Two. Where's Sally? There. She's got a camera. Right. I can see her. She's taking some pictures. Yes. She loves dolphins. Three. I can't see Nick. Where is he? Look, he's sitting with his feet in the water. <laughs> What's he doing? He's got a fish in his hand. That dolphin wants it. He's jumping for it. Four. Look at Jill. What's she doing? Her friends shouting at her. But she wants to read. Oh yes, she's got a book about dolphins. Five. Where's Mary? She's there, in the water. Oh, what's she doing? She's swimming with a dolphin. Oh yes, it can swim better than she can. That is the end of part one.
Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Did you have a good birthday party? Yes, it was great. When was the party? It was last Saturday. Saturday. That's right. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. Where was the party? It was in the Paris Cafe. Oh, how do you spell that? P A R I S. Two. How many children were there? Eighteen. Eighteen. That's a lot. Yes. There were ten boys and eight girls. Right. Three. Where did you all sit? We had a big table outside. Outside? Oh, weren't you cold? No, it was hot and sunny that day. Four. What did you eat? A lot. Birthday cake? Yes. And did you have burgers and fries? No, we had sandwiches and ice cream. Five. What drinks did you have? Some people had lemonade and some had lime juice. Lime juice? Did you like it? Yes, I did. Now listen to part two again. One. Where was the party? It was in the Paris Cafe. Oh, how do you spell that? P A R I S. Two. How many children were there? Eighteen. Eighteen. That's a lot. Yes, there were ten boys and eight girls. Right. Three. Where did you all sit? We had a big table outside. Outside? Oh, weren't you cold? No, it was hot and sunny that day. Four. What did you eat? A lot. Birthday cake? Yes. And did you have burgers and fries? No, we had sandwiches and ice cream. Five. What drinks did you have? Some people had lemonade and some had lime juice. Lime juice? Did you like it? Yes, I did. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. What did John do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, John. Did you enjoy your holiday last week? Yes, thanks. It was very good. Tell me what you did every day. Well, on Monday I went to town with my mom and dad. We bought a new car. Wow! Did you? Yes. You could come to my house after school and see it. Can you see the line from the word Monday? On Monday, John and his mum and dad bought a new car. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Did you go for a ride in the new car? Yes, on Wednesday. Where did you go? To the river. We had a picnic there.
two. We went to see my uncle on Sunday. Where does he live? In the country, in a small village. And what did you do there? We went for a walk and had a picnic again in a field. Three. Which was the best day then? Oh, Thursday. Why? What did you do on Thursday? I went to Jack's house, and his dad has a new boat. Wow! Did you take it on the river? Yes, it was exciting. Four. On Friday, I went to the cinema with Jack. What film did you see? River Island. It's about some people who lived on a boat. Was it good? It was okay. Jack liked it. He went to see it again on Saturday. Five. And what did you do on Saturday? I helped my dad. What did you do? Did you help him in the garden? No. We washed the new car. It looks beautiful. Now listen to part three again. One. Did you go for a ride in the new car? Yes, on Wednesday. Where did you go? To the river. We had a picnic there. Two. We went to see my uncle on Sunday. Where does he live? In the country, in a small village. And what did you do there? We went for a walk and had a picnic again in a field. Three. Which was the best day then? Oh, Thursday. Why? What did you do on Thursday? I went to Jack's house, and his dad has a new boat. Wow! Did you take it on the river? Yes, it was exciting. Four. On Friday, I went to the cinema with Jack. What film did you see? River Island. It's about some people who lived on a boat. Was it good? It was okay. Jack liked it. He went to see it again on Saturday. Five. And what did you do on Saturday? I helped my dad. What did you do? Did you help him in the garden? No. We washed the new car. It looks beautiful. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What did Sam do at school today? Hello, Sam. Did you enjoy school today? Yes, it was great. What did you do? The teacher read a story about a bear, and we all drew pictures of it. And did you write about it? No, not today. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What's the matter with Daisy? What would you like to eat, Daisy? I'm not very hungry, Mum. I don't want any breakfast. What's the matter? Have you got toothache, or does your stomach hurt? No, I've got earache, and I'm hot. Well, you can't go to school today. Two. Which child is Ben? Look at this photo of my birthday party. Can you find me? Oh, Ben, that's difficult. You're all wearing party clothes. Are you the pirate? No, that's my friend John. Are you the clown then? 
Yes, I am. And this monkey here is my sister. 3. What does John want for lunch? Would you like a bowl of soup for lunch, John? We had that yesterday. Can we have something different, please? Well, how about a pizza? Oh, great. And can we have pasta for supper, please? 4. What can Jane and Jim do? Do you want to come to my house after school, Jane? Yes, please. We haven't got any homework today. Can we play on your computer? No, not today. My mum needs it for her work. But we can listen to my new CDs. OK, Jim. 5. What did Nick do at the weekend? Did you go sailing at the weekend, Nick? No, we didn't, because it was very cold. So what did you do? Did you go to the shops? No. My friend Kim phoned, and we went to the zoo. Now listen to part four again. 1. What's the matter with Daisy? What would you like to eat, Daisy? I'm not very hungry, Mum. I don't want any breakfast. What's the matter? Have you got toothache, or does your stomach hurt? No, I've got earache, and I'm hot. Well, you can't go to school today. 2. Which child is Ben? Look at this photo of my birthday party. Can you find me? Oh, Ben, that's difficult. You're all wearing party clothes. Are you the pirate? No, that's my friend John. Are you the clown, then? Yes, I am. And this monkey here is my sister. 3. What does John want for lunch? Would you like a bowl of soup for lunch, John? We had that yesterday. Can we have something different, please? Well, how about a pizza? Oh, great. And can we have pasta for supper, please? 4. What can Jane and Jim do? Do you want to come to my house after school, Jane? Yes, please. We haven't got any homework today. Can we play on your computer? No, not today. My mum needs it for her work. But we can listen to my new CDs. OK, Jim. 5. What did Nick do at the weekend? Did you go sailing at the weekend, Nick? No, we didn't, because it was very cold. So what did you do? Did you go to the shops? No. My friend Kim phoned, and we went to the zoo. That is the end of part four. Part 5. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Do you like this picture? Yes, it's beautiful countryside. Would you like to colour something? Yes. Can I colour one of the mountains? Yes, colour the smallest mountain. Colour it green. Can you see the green mountain? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. 1. Shall I colour another part of the picture now? Yes. Look at the girl who's giving the birds some bread. Yes. She's wearing jeans and a long sweater. Right. Now colour her sweater red. OK. 
22. Now, would you like to draw something? Yes. What shall I draw? Can you see the man with the sheep? Yes. He lives on a farm, I think. Yes. Give him a hat. Draw a hat on his head. Three. Would you like to color again? Yes, please. Can I color one of the birds? Yes, the biggest bird. Okay. I'm coloring the biggest bird blue. Four. Now, there are two dogs in the picture. Yes, I like dogs. Good. Well, look at the dog that's with the girl. Yes, okay. Color the girl's dog. Make him gray. Five. Now you choose something to color. I know. There are some clouds above the mountains. Most of them are long and thin, but there's one big fat one. Okay. Color the big fat cloud. Right. I'm coloring it pink. It's a great picture now. Now listen to part five again. One. Shall I color another part of the picture now? Yes. Look at the girl who's giving the birds some bread. Yes. She's wearing jeans and a long sweater. Right. Now color her sweater red. Okay. Two. Now, would you like to draw something? Yes. What shall I draw? Can you see the man with the sheep? Yes. He lives on a farm, I think. Yes. Give him a hat. Draw a hat on his head. Three. Would you like to color again? Yes, please. Can I color one of the birds? Yes, the biggest bird. Okay. I'm coloring the biggest bird blue. Four. Now, there are two dogs in the picture. Yes, I like dogs. Good. Well, look at the dog that's with the girl. Yes. Okay. Color the girl's dog. Make him gray. Five. Now you choose something to color. I know. There are some clouds above the mountains. Most of them are long and thin, but there's one big fat one. Okay. Color the big fat cloud. Right. I'm coloring it pink. It's a great picture now. That is the end of the Movers Practice Listening Test 1.